let's start to explore how we can use the checkbox to show or hide the legend in Chart.js. So the first thing what we're going to do here is we're going to get here the default code. Make sure you go to chartjs3.com getting started and get the default code here down. So we're, going to, we're just going to copy all of this. And then once we did that, and by the way, if you want to understand, make sure you watch this video. So I'm going to paste all of this in there and then I will cut this out. And as I did that, I will just paste the title here, save that, refresh. All right. So now we have basically our item here, or at least our bar chart. What I want to do now is to put in here a checkbox. And with that checkbox, we can activate or deactivate the legend. So for that, I'm going to say here input, and then this will be a type of checkbox. And here the name could be legend. But what I will do here as well is I will create here a value, not a value, sorry, it should be selected or checked because we want to check it. And this is show legend as text. And here what I want to do as well is I want to trigger a function. So I will say here on click. And once we on click here, we should have here, let's give this the show legend function. And of course our parameter here or our argument will be the entire input. So I will indicate you just this indicating that this would refer to this checkbox here. So we can compare if the checkbox has been selected or checked. Yes or no. So if I save this right now here, we already have a checked version all right so we're done there and now let's start to work with our function so our function here will be basic oh, sorry will be basically the name here so I'm just going to grab all of this and then here we can just call it a box or checkbox doesn't matter so now what we're going to do here is just for the sake of it let's do a console log and at least show you what does the box refer to let's put in some enters here save that Refresh. All right, so now we have this here. And if I select this, you can see what happens. It will indicate if we are checked, yes or no. Or well, it says you're checked. But as you can see here, we get this. What we want to do here now is not only get this, but I want to figure out what is the value of this. So what I want to do here is say um, this checked. So if I save this now, refresh, now you can see here it is now false, which is correct because we have unchecked it. And if we click again, we it will be set back on true because now it has been selected. All right, so we have this here and I'm going to show you later on why we need this because in here in the options, what I want to do here is to create a plugin or basically plugins because I want to grab here the legend. And what I really want to do is basically this. Here I will say a display and this display by default is always set on on true so if I set this on false and save that you can see here this has been removed so that will basically mean that whatever we have set here as on the checkbox this here should match or link directly with the uh, option that we did here so let's start to do this all right and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in here an enter and then in here, I'm going to create an if statement. And this if statement will be very straightforward. We say if box.checked equals, we can do the equal strict probably, true, meaning that it is checked. In that case, what I want to do is I want to say here in my chart. So I'm going to do my chart and then dot config dot. And then we're going to say here config, we go to options, plugins, legend. So options dot plugins dot legend and dot display we will put this on set to true and if that is not the case else then I want to set this on false false and there we are so if I save this now you will see here it doesn't work yet and the reason why it doesn't work yet is just we need to put in here my chart dot update to make sure we update the latest settings so if i save this now we should have here a nice effect and there you are so as you can see here now it will show or hide based on what we select
and that's basically how you can connect this so if you like this video and maybe you want to learn for example how to change the shapes here of these legends in that case i highly recommend you to check out this specific video about how to add rounded borders on the legend box labels in chart.js